I'm Roxette Arisa, and today we're doing this makeup look right here. This is an Ariana Grande inspired makeup look from her Focus music video. This look right here. I just fell in love with this makeup look when I saw it because it's very rose gold inspired and just super glam without actually being too difficult. It's pretty easy and there are just a few steps you need to know to steal her look. I believe it was Daniel Chinchilla that first created this look on Ariana Grande. I know he is an amazing celebrity makeup artist and works with Ariana a lot so I think it was he that created this look but I don't know for sure because I could never find like a for sure answer on that like he was never tagged or credited so I don't know that for sure but I know he does work with Ariana Grande a lot he's so so good so definitely check out his page I'll link his Instagram down below but if I'm wrong and there's a different celebrity makeup artist that did this look please let me know if you guys know so comment down below if you know the correct makeup artist well let's hope I'm right okay and we are going to be using all of the products from this month's Ipsy Glam Bag. So I just wanted to say thank you to Ipsy for collaborating with me on this video along with all of the brands that are in this month's box. So that includes Naked Cosmetics, Elizabeth Mott, Star Looks, Verb, and Ico London. So thank you guys. Now let's get into the tutorial. Moving straight to the eyes, I'm going to take this cream eyeshadow from Star Looks. It's in the shade Ipsy Rose Gold. And I'm kind of using this as our eyeshadow base. It's really going to provide a nice base for the entire rose gold look. Once you apply it, you actually want to go in and blend out the edges. This almost makes it look like you have two different colors in there, like a crease shade and then a base shade, but really you're just blending out the one shade and it's a really, really beautiful color. Okay, also I tried to like sort of do my eyebrows like Ariana Grande's. I feel like this eyebrow turned out sort of like hers and then this eyebrow was just like not having it today. That left eyebrow, man, it always gives me trouble. They always say your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. This is this is the troubled sister. This is the star player over here. You can see the entire look is very rose gold inspired. So next we're gonna take this gorgeous pigment from Naked Cosmetics. It's in the shade Desert Sunset and it is gorgeous. Look at that, I love this color. I'm just gonna spray my brush with a little Fix Plus and then Dab it on to the eyes with a synthetic flat brush. Ooh, yes, baby. This color, though, I love it. Love it. You just want to continuously be blending the edges out so it looks nice and seamless. And that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. I love this look because it's so simple, easy, it's to the point, you know, you're in and you're out and you have a beautiful Rills Gold inspired eye look. You can see she does have her signature Ari little wing going on, so we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna use the Ico London Skinny Liquid Eyeliner in Black from my Ipsy Glam Bag this month. This one is really Really, really nice because it has a very precise tip on it and it is smudge proof it's super duper black so it's perfect for creating Ari's signature wing what you want to do is take it out towards the tail of the brow and then right back down make a little triangle and then fill in the rest super bold are in the grande wings now we're gonna go in with a little bit of concealer right underneath just to clean it up and make sure everything is super sharp. For mascara, I'm using the Tarte Cosmetics Tardis Mascara. Again, I've been obsessed with this stuff lately. I really, really like it, so I've been using it a lot. The lashes that Ariana Grande has on actually seem pretty, um, pretty faint. Like, they're not very voluminous or anything, so I'm gonna kind of stick with that idea. These are the Ardell Glamour 113s. I'm just gonna pop these on like I usually do, secure it in the middle, and then kind of put it down on the inner and outer corners. <laughs> Moving back to the face now, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 1.5, and I'm just going to apply that all over the face, underneath the eyes, down the middle of the face, on any blemishes that I have. This is a really good concealer. It's very, very full coverage and super creamy. I really like it for my skin, especially when I'm going for a full coverage, full glam look like this. And then I'm gonna blend that out with my Morphe E20 brush. Next up, I'm going to set the under eye area with my Cut Fond D Shade and Light palette. I'm going to take this um, banana shade right here and just place that underneath the eyes with my e.l.f. blush brush. I need to bake this area just a little bit. Even if I don't bake the entire face, I'll usually go in and bake this area because I get really, really bad smile lines when I'm talking a lot. So 
Gotta do it, girl. You gotta do it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face with this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder while that little section is baking. Ariana always looks super flawless, so that's why I'm going in with just a little bit more coverage than I usually would. Then to contour, I'm gonna go back into the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D, take these two shades, and then just start to chisel out the cheekbones with my Sigma Extreme Structure Contour F04 brush. And looking at this picture, it doesn't actually look like she has any shadow on the bottom lash line. It's just a black coal liner that's a little bit blended out. So we're gonna take this guy. This is the Estee Lauder Times at Victoria Beckham dual-ended little pencil thing and I'm just taking the black side. I'm gonna run that into the waterline and lightly blend it out so it looks nice and flawless. Then you wanna do a coat of mascara on the bottom lashes. Okay, this mascara for lower lashes is everything. To add some warmth back into the face, I'm taking Matte Give Me Sun and I'm just gonna go on to the outer perimeter, pretty much anywhere you know the sun would naturally hit. For blush, I'm gonna take MAC Just a Wisp Mineralized Blush. How perfect is this color for this look especially? I feel like Ariana is just very glowy, very, you know, pinky rose gold. So this is the perfect blush for this look. Super fresh and flirty. Time to add some glow. Actually, in the video, it doesn't really look like Ariana's highlight is super poppin', but we're gonna go there today. We're just gonna take it up a notch because we gotta add some glow in there. I need a little glow in my line. So this is Jouer Cosmetics Citrine Highlight, and I'm just going to apply that all up and down on the high points, points? <laughs> on the high points of the cheeks. Moving to the lips now. Her lips are really, really overdrawn in this music video, so I'm gonna take Soar Lip Pencil from MAC, and I'm just going to really overdraw them and emphasize the inner parts. Hers is super rounded. There's not much of a V in that little Cupid's bow area, so we're gonna kinda go with that today. For our lip color, I'm gonna go in with this Elizabeth Mott color is a Bay Lip Lacquer. This is in the shade Moxie Mauve and I'm just going to glide this on over the lips. You actually want to leave this part like the overlined line <laughs> showing because that is exactly what Ariana had going on. For our final step, we're going to add the Marc Jacobs Shiga Shiga Gloss to the lips to add a nice sheen. Oh my gosh, this literally just made the perfect color. Yes, honey. Again, leave that outer section kind of drawn on there. Just gonna spray it down with my MAC Fix Plus. And then while that dries, I'm gonna take care of some of these flyaways with the Verb Ghost Oil. This is really cool because it is a hair oil, but it doesn't feel heavy in my hair. So I like to use it on my dry hair whenever I want to add some shine and also smooth down all my little flyaways. All right guys, so that is it for this Steal Her Look video. I feel like it was an Ariana Grande transformation over here. And again, a huge thanks to Ipsy for partnering with me on this video. I think it's so cool that we were able to use all the products in this month's glam bag for this look. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do two new videos every single week, Wednesdays and Sundays. So you definitely don't want to miss out. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.